Well guys, here we are at our next one. First job for the 316 with the new motor. Listen to her purr. Idaho's trying to fix his radio station. I bought a new hour meter and it says it's got 49.4 hours on it. I know that's not right. We just put it in. It's kind of odd because I wanted a new hour meter when I got the new motor, full service and everything. So I'm going to have to take that back and get one with zero hours. Right, Idaho? That's right. So here's what we got going on. I'll show you this one. Go up here and get the dozer fired up. I dropped the dozer off a couple weeks ago. But uh, this is a job me and Idaho did last year in December. We rented a 315 and moved this hill. I got it all videoed. I don't know if you'll ever see it or not. Maybe this winter. You guys let me know if you want to see old videos. We can see we moved. I'll show you when we get up here. We move this big hill. And now we're going to start clearing all this. Move all that trash down there and start moving this down. Clear this side over here. Move these trees. Let's get the uh, get the dozer fired up. Something running over there. Maybe it's a deer. Man, I was, it's nice just knowing when you come to a job and you just get to run equipment versus having to get the laser out and know you're going to lay pipe, be digging in and out of the ditch. It's nice just to have a job like this. So I found out what's going on with my bucket deal there. I don't know if I told you guys, but for some reason they have a John Deere quick coupler on that machine for a uh, 160. So you got to get buckets for John Deere 160. <laughs> kind of odd. Cracking and popping. It's a big old machine compared to like a 312 or a 315. Idaho's gonna love it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go to John Deere today or tomorrow. They got a 42 inch bucket. I'm gonna have to pick up. Got the two footer on there for ripping out stumps and whatever. So I got a couple jobs lined up. I got a big driveway job lined up for that and a demo job. So hopefully that thing can start paying for itself. Let's go take a look, see what we got. I don't know if it's this place or what. I had the Navage. Yeah. Aquil. Again? I think it's just a sinus. So here's the hill we moved, guys. It dropped off on about right back here, didn't it? We cut this whole hill oh, down. Yeah. Whole week of moving dirt. But, uh. This whole thing went like this. Yeah moved a lot of dirt so now we're going to go this way start got some locusts coming up oh yeah yeah clearing and going this way and he wants to topsoil this all kinds of stuff to do well yeah i guess we'll probably i don't know what he wants to do with all this stuff go down here and just, i guess we'll start down here Okay, I don't know what that means, or KO. It's a big tree. Before I get too carried away, that's how I always do, I get, get in the groove of working and get up here and show you a little bit of what before and after is gonna look like. I've been scratching 
touch the ground here, it already is starting to look a lot better. I buried all that wire in this dirt. I think a fitting spot be right down here in this hole. Like I said, get rid of it now because you'll get turning and it end up in your undercarriage or whatever. Been there, done that. Let's put her right down there. Let's jump on the 316 for a minute. I want to grub some of this dirt down here. I, well, I better ask Idaho if he'll let me. Look, this winter I'm gonna clean all that up. I don't know why that hour meter's got 49 hours on it. That's odd. I put a new one in my when I put a new one in my dozer, it had zero. He's listening to some easy listening music, guys. He wants to be chilled out today. I know it's always chill. I gotta reverse that too. The thumbs opposite of what I normally run them to. New teeth on the bucket just for ripping roots. Yeah, when we did this job the last time, man, Idaho was sicker than a dog, and I rented that 315. It was supposed to be for a week, and man, I tell you what, he he muscled through and he was sick. And I tell you what, guys, I've been sick too, and I don't know that uh, I would have been able to do it like he muscled through. This year's been a bad year, man. I've been sick a bunch. I was in the ER Tuesday with a dang kidney stone. Woke up and it felt like my stomach was gonna explode. I'm like, my God, something ain't right. And I don't, I don't do doctors often and definitely don't do emergency rooms because I hate, I hate IVs and I knew I was getting an IV or, or something with a needle. And uh, sure enough, but I'm telling you what, the pain was so bad, I could not take it. And uh, they had to hit me with morphine twice. But man, I just, like I told you before, I think I had the China virus for a couple months and then that, the kidney stone and golly. Been one thing after another this year. It's been a bad year, really. I, I don't know, it's not been a good year. Business and just all the stuff that's going on. I, I got some stuff I'll have to share with you guys once I get past it. I think I've said that before, but it's been really weighing heavy on me. And then this 316 deal, that was hard on me this spring. Guy wasn't forthcoming what this thing was like. I mean, I 
spent a bunch of money and got it to where it's good now with the new motor and thumb and had the boom fixed. I, I mean, it should be a dang good machine now, but you know, not knowing that going into it, you know, that's a thing. Buying stuff sight unseen, guys. You, I'll, I learned my lesson. I guess this is a learning year because I learned some lessons for sure. Definitely on a couple different fronts. And there's stumps. See them stumps in there? You can't see them because he's got them all ground down. See, you can see the grind marks from the uh, drum. This little two foot bucket makes it nice for that though. For stumping and stuff. Yeah, so I ordered a Cat 48 inch bucket and that wouldn't work. I was gonna get a line board and the line board guy's like, oh, you better check your spacing for your quick coupler. Good thing I did that because like I said, it, come to find out it's for John Deere. The buckets uh, had a tag on it and I called the manufacturer. They had it in their system that, that three, this 316 here was for uh, Quick coupler for a uh, John Deere. An odd. Idaho, Idaho's over there on the saw. Idaho's down here getting right with it. Listen to that. Listen to that weaky, weaky little steel. You gotta almost like talk that thing into cutting through wood. Listen to it. That's, that's, honestly, that's a pathetic, I wouldn't even call that thing a chainsaw. I'd call that thing a butter. Listen to it putrid going through there. Take it, her. Don't get hung up, is it? Of course it is. That's what I was gonna say. We'll just cut some of these up to stump. We'll just bury them. Yeah. Cover them up. Would you have to change your hat? Yeah. That blue one didn't look good on camera, did it? Oh, that's a that's a going out hat. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, this is going out. That's a dress hat. Oh, really? Sure. Why don't you ever wear your excavating hat? Which one's that? The one I gave you. That's in the garage. That's that's got its own oh. light and everything. It's in a cabinet. That's right, gotcha. It don't look like much now. Well, all this is going to be filled in. And all these trees will be gone down through here. Of course, that's a that's a drainage for all these hills. But it looks like they plugged it up once before. I don't know about that tooth, guys. It's uh, the thumb. It's uh, it's pretty big. It's hard to get used to looking at it on the 316.
this is the first first job we brought this uh, excavator here yesterday this is the first job with this uh, excavator I'm to be honest with you I'm, I'm scared to run it I don't know what what he expects or how he wants to uh, break this thing in or baby it a little bit or whatever I mean uh, I'll just play it by ear and, and kind of go a little slow here in the beginning look at him he's gonna go right over the hill shove it all down in the hole Feel it too. There you go. Now back the machine up. Maybe do a little whack a hacking. Tip it's bunched on it. Heavy? Yeah, man. You think it's that thumb or? It has to be. That thumb's heavy, ain't it? But it's only got two foot bucket on it. I Hell, you, you ain't got no get, dirt in it. I gotta get used to it. I, I, I'm not a fan right now. Well, I'm what? always complaining on 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 the channels. Always complaining? <laughs> I'm not to complain. I need to be more positive too, maybe. I think I should get the saw and whack a hack it. Oh no, it's down there now. Yeah, I'll just push it. I'll swing around. And... I'm gonna make him a little trail that way and then let me blade you flat there and then you can just start grabbing shit, knocking it and then pulling it back and I'll push it. Yeah. Kinda got a game plan. It, yeah, shove it down in the bowl. It's been taking, it takes a while to get the good. Well, you gotta get a foothold. Exactly. Trying to blade this dirt up so we can start going that way with it. We'll get something looking good. Gotta get a foothold and, a, and an area where you can uh, have a base of operation. Can you? Yeah. Can you pick that up and move it over just a hair? Yeah. Is that screwing you up too on the thumb? No. Nah, 
Well, I mean, I'm... You're not used to anything else, so... Yeah, yeah. So Mine's... I mean, a I couple times I've hit it wrong, but... I feel the rain. It's coming. Is it going to rain a bunch? Uh, on and off until this evening, then tomorrow it's going to rain again. Fun stuff. What? It's too muddy, we won't work. Let me show you what we got done. It's pretty much it for day one. I didn't get much uh, video for you guys. That was kind of in the uh, mode where I wanted to see some progress. So I apologize. I didn't get a bunch of record, which it was all kind of the same thing. So what I did get you pretty much seen the exact same thing we did all day, but we got pretty far getting it started, getting it graded off. I think he's wanting us to, uh, I don't know if I said this before, take this all down and make like a path and push it that way. We'll just have to see. I think we're going to have to get uh, Idaho in here with his uh, bobcat and brush cutter because he's wanting to go up on that side of the hill. And this stuff's just too hard to deal with with excavator and thumb. So probably get that, chop away on it. There's our brush pile. Well, guys, like always, keep doing what you do. Banging those chains. Till tomorrow, we'll be back. Maybe. Tomorrow's Friday and it's going to be raining. It's already uh, sticking to my boots. So till the next time, we will be here. And by this video, hopefully my apparel's ready and you guys can check it out. I'll put the link in the description. I think you'll like it.